How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and April Fools? More specifically, April Fools to me. Originally, I'd planned to shoot a video that pranks you, the audience, in some way for April 1st, but considering most of the appeal of my channel is you guys watching me suffer in one way or another, I thought this would be a little more appropriate. So here's the situation. My editor, Tom, sent me an episode of a show that I am almost guaranteed to hate. However, I don't know what show it is. So I'm going into this entirely blind. Now, Tom's not an anime guy, so I'm assuming it's not gonna be an anime. But who knows, maybe he just sent me an episode of Dragon Ball and it's gonna tank my entire channel in one fell swoop. You know, like shooting a copywritten silver bullet straight into the heart of my YouTube page. Regardless, uh, I am excited to see what Tom picked out, and whatever it is, I hope you all enjoy as well. So let's get into it. What is this, Tom? Is Tom about to tank my entire channel by showing me some British movie from the 80s? Why? Because I made you watch Buddy Daddies? Yo, this is sick. This is ominous as hell. That music and this dolly shot were a great combo. Wait, hold on. Hold on. This could just be a normal English telephone box. Am I watching Doctor Who? <laughs> not on my fucking channel, I'm not. What's the April Fool's prank here, Tom? You tricking me into thinking you want to keep your job? I've seen two episodes of Doctor Who in my entire life, and they were incomprehensible experiences. This is a show I exclusively associate with quirky Pinterest girls who always thought they were too smart to date me. They were. They absolutely were. Still hurts my feelings, though. God, I, I don't want to watch Doctor Who. Ugh, fine, whatever, I'll watch it. But if I start walking around town with a satchel full of pins, I'm gonna wring your neck, Tom. Is this a good episode, at least? Like, maybe that's his goal. Is he trying to convert me? Tom does love Doctor Who. So, so like, maybe that's the mission here. Maybe he handpicked a great episode of Doctor Who to try and get me on board with the show. So fine, whatever. I'll give it a chance. I'll give it, I'll give it a reasonable chance. That looked pretty good. That didn't look bad for a TV show. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, I hate it. Whoa. Whoa, this is so quirky. I can't believe they just did that in a live action show. That wasn't even a good version of this bit. Like, you could see the cuts. You could see the shadows and water moving every time they cut. If you're gonna do this bit, which you shouldn't, but if you were going to, why wouldn't you just have these doors all lead nowhere? You have six doorways that all lead nowhere. You have your actors run into the background one, skip the middle one, and then come out in the foreground. That way you can do it all in one take and it's just as fast. Do these doors actually lead to rooms? Is this not a set? Why are you cutting? It, that wasn't the first time I met the doctor and it certainly wasn't the last. Oh no. I just put that bit at the beginning because it's a brilliant opening. You know, if nothing else, I respect this guy's devotion towards dynamic storytelling. This, like, camera overlay, though, is, like, without a doubt, the cheapest version of this effect I've ever seen. What? Why does it look like somebody drew these lines? Like somebody used chalk to draw these lines on a plexiglass. Do not tell me this is a sheet of plexiglass being held up in front of the lens because they didn't know how to do this digitally. Because it is gonna get scary. I need a remote control zoom. I'm having to do that with a lean. That's scary. I like that. This guy's a scrappy filmmaker. I respect that. I like moving your whole body in towards the camera instead of zooming in. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, first things first. My name is Elton. Uh, not to be confused with... I would make fun of them for using that cheap joke. But honestly, I was about to do the exact same thing. Two years ago, I was in town. I was stocking up. You know, nothing special. All the usual stuff. When all of a sudden... <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm listening. Why do all these mannequins look like Patrick Bateman? <laughs> oh, 
I survived. Obviously. 12 months later. Oh my god, what? We're done with the mannequins? Were they shooting lightning? Is that what I saw? Come on down to Gregory's Suits and Tuxedos. And while you're here, check out our new mannequins. Now featuring the Wrath of God. When I hear this plane overhead... What is happening? No joke, this is literally 30 seconds after the mannequin bit. Does this show have a plot? But it wasn't over yet, because then... Christmas Day. I'm in bed, fast asleep, nice and cozy, quarter to eight in the morning, when all of a sudden... That's Christmas for ya! Yeah, Christmas has been real rough ever since Santa started using breaching charges. But I mean, what do you expect when all of you assholes keep getting houses without chimneys? I went mad with it all. Spaceships and lasers and everything. We all went to Trafalgar Square that night, cause everyone was celebrating. Why does this girl have the voice of Moaning Myrtle and the face of Coraline's friend from Wisconsin? Yes. Oh my god. Do you believe me? Aw, oh, they're so cute together. Turns out we read all the same sites and she only lived half a mile away. She was like a proper mate. Poor Ursula. Oh my god, never mind. Okay, cool. Not gonna get invested in this relationship. Thanks for warning me, show. Underneath the old library on McAteer Street, Mr. Skinner, first name Colin, but we always called him Mr. Skinner. I don't know why, we just did. I don't know, sometimes you just call people by their last name. Why are you making such a big deal about it, Elton? Bless Bliss, we used to say. What he could represent, and what he should represent, and what he... You wanna crop in a little bit, guys? Or maybe do a take where this woman isn't poking her beak into frame? Oh my god, that's gorgeous. No, really, wow. Oh, the rest of you, get your hands yeah. off. Next thing you know. I like how they have Bliss dressed like she's an iCarly character in most of these scenes. They've always got her in like a sparkly dress over two different long sleeve shirts. I like this group though, they're cute, you know? They're like a very fun and endearing little gang. I know I haven't showed many clips of them being cute and fun and endearing, uh, but that's because the next six minutes of this episode is them just singing to a bunch of copywritten music. So thanks for that show, I appreciate it. Lights! That's when we met Victor Kennedy. And the golden age was gone. So... What is this casting? How old is this guy supposed to be? He looks like a 14-year-old doing a Bloodborne Colonel Sanders cosplay. No sign of bliss. Do you know where she is? Yes, didn't she tell you? She's getting married. She left a message. I believe him. And so what if he was the last person to see Bliss? And so what if she made a blood-curdling scream when he invited her to his office? You know what I think? I think you're all just jealous. Well, I, for one, am happy for Bliss. And I hope her and her whole Disney Channel wardrobe find happiness one day. Because you don't touch, you said, so you get a ration and itch. I can use this! Use that cane on him and you'll get one hell of a smack off me! And then a good kick. All right, Myrtle, go off. Find some excuse to start a conversation. But how was I gonna do this? How? Excuse me, love, you couldn't give us a quid for two fifties, could you? Shut up, you crazy old bitch. He's trying to come up with a way to talk to you naturally. Now, what if you threw a coffee at her head? Yeah, that could work. Without provoking suspicion, get on first name terms with the target. My name's Jackie, by the way. Oh my God, is she espionaging him? I don't suppose you're any good at fixing things, are you? There they are. It was a fuse. And by espionaging, I mean trying to bang. If I had you making a nice cup of tea like this, I wouldn't stray far from home. You're a charmer. Say it again. <laughs> Yo, Ellen's about to get jawned if he stays here any longer. I was joking, by the way. She really gonna try and bang Elton? Infiltration went well, because Jackie kept phoning up, needing this and needing that. It was strange, the amount of things that needed doing. Yeah, well, there's one thing around here that needs doing that isn't getting done. That was crazy. Okay, recalibrating expectations. Must be near a substation. Then you get the power surges still. There we go. Fixed. <sighs> She's in such a normal outfit. I guess the skirt's a little short. But that's offset pretty hard by the Zoe 101 top she's wearing. You were saying... Power surges. From the substation, yeah. Oh my god, this woman's taking the offensive! Ellen! Evasive maneuvers! Is that why it gets so hot in here? Is it hot? Oh, I think so. You should take your jacket off. No, why not? Just... No, look, you must be boiling. Dude, this isn't even taking the offensive. 
This is like a full frontal romantic assault. She's got all of her troops laying siege to his southern borders. Ellen doesn't stand a chance. I'm, 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 I'm fine, it's all right. Ruined it. No, honestly, it, it's, it's, it's fine. Take it off, I'll put it in the wash. Oh, come on, it's only a little drop. Oh. Knight takes bishop, check me. Elton, drop your pants. And there I was. The ultimate step five. The perfect infiltration. <gasps> Target. Jackie Snatch. Everything all right? That was my daughter. Oh, look at you. I'm sorry. I was just being stupid. What? What are you doing? He opened his gates. His white flag was drawn. Why is your army retreating? Because I'm going to go out and get us both a pizza. Because I reckon you need cheering up. She goes swanning off, and who's left to care about you, eh? Yo! Yo! Full surrender! Full surrender! Men, take cover! Arm the troops! What do you... What do you mean they've taken out our comms? Listen to me! Ellen's ordering a pizza! We got our backs to the goddamn walls here! Just you and me as proper mates. Yeah? Mates. Go on. Say yes. Who else just fell in love with Elton right now? Show of hands. You know, after that insane Scooby-Doo opening, the show really tamed itself out. Let's get inside then, the pizza's getting cold. I went in your coat. Oh, no, 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 no! And look what I found. A photograph of my daughter. Please, no! But I changed my Let mind. Let me tell you something about those who get left behind. Because it's hard, and that's what you become, hard. Well... But Jackie, I only wanted to meet him. I thought you liked me. I do. Just get out of here! I said get out! And leave me alone! Oh! Oh, this is horrible. Oh no, Jackie! Oh, but she's so adorable. We used to come here every week, and we'd have a laugh. We were friends. No wonder they stopped coming. Oh! What? Why am I feeling? And we're going to the Golden Locust and we're going to have a Chinese. What's that got to do with it? I mean, you and me, together, having a meal. Help me! Somebody help me! Why do I like this? What happened to my taste? This turned in to such a cute show after the insane opening. I am so invested. There has never been a relationship I've been more invested in, other than like Recky and Longa, than Elton and whoever he wants to be in love with. I was really pulling for Elton and Jackie. I'm really upset that that kind of fell apart. And boy, do I hope he comes back and apologizes to her. But I'll, I'll take an Elton and Ursula. God. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, man. This, I, like, once this show became more grounded and, like, about the characters, I started digging it a lot more. It's also, like, way more tame than I ever expected it to be. Like, we haven't seen... We're, like, 30 minutes in. There haven't been any aliens outside of the beginning bit. Look at the rest of me. You've doubled with aliens. Now meet the genuine article. Oh my god! What? <clears throat> this is the worst thing I've ever had to look at. Why would they show me this? Why does he have a mohawk? Where am I? Ursula, is that you? That's Mr. Skinner. What have you done to him? She's taking this incredibly well. What about Bliss? Where is she? I said you really don't want to know. Tom! Tom! Oh no, no, please don't hit me! Look at me, I'm such a slow and clumsy beast. Please don't hit me. But like, hit him though, right? Let me know in the comments how many of you wouldn't hit this guy. No, hold on, that's a bad idea. I, I want comments on this video. Let me know in the comments whether or not you'd hit this guy. Everything, every second. I feel like I should be sad that they can't go and have a Chinese now. Oh, whoa. But I'm just so horrifically insulted by the image that I'm being shown. It tastes like chicken. Elton, where are you? Why did her glasses stay? Elton, you're next. Get out of here. Now you've seen him, he can't let you go. How do I even... 
Where do I begin? No shit, you're next. Why are you even having a conversation with this thing? Oh God, I, I hate it. Oh man. Oh man, I'm lo <laughs> I'm looking at him. I'm looking I'm looking eye to eye with him right now and I can't Oh, I can't I can't come up with anything. I can't even like I got nothing. I can't even come up with a joke for this. But I'll try. Oh my god. He looks like a he looks like a honeydew melon joined a biker gang. He looks like a he looks like an orc melted. Oh man. Oh, I want to go to bed. I just well, this is the first thing I've done today. I rolled out of bed. I didn't even eat breakfast. And I just dove into this. Why is it wearing a thong? I don't know what the worst part is. The thong, the mohawk that stretches down to his asshole. It's all the worst part. This episode is the worst part of being alive. Oh my god, he's cooking! He's fast as lightning! Is this for kids? What is this show's demographic? Because this is terrifying at every age. Someone wants a word with you. Oh yeah, David Tennant's in this show, I forgot. Is the Doctor not the protagonist of this show? I almost completely forgot what I was watching. You upset my mum! You were supposed to fuck my mom, and now, I'm gonna fuck you. Up. I was born on the twin planet. Really? What's the twin planet? Rags of Coral Cofana Pretorius. Clum. Clum. Clum, yes. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. The doctor's right. We can't let him. Oh, Mr. Skinner. Bridget. Pull. No! For God's no! sake. Oh my god, please show mercy on me. <laughs> Help me! Why Why would somebody make this? Was this a was this somebody's court-ordered punishment? Everybody involved in making this episode should be arrested. Arrested and murdered. Bye-bye, Elton. Bye-bye. What? She dies anyway? Some fucking help the doctor was? Why did you even show up here? What do you even do? We forget because we must. I'll certainly be trying to. Come on, Elton. You still got me. Oh, yeah. Because the doctor said he could do one last thing. What? What is this? Wait, don't, don't show me something horrific. I've had more than enough. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, my weary little bones. Can I end the episode? What is this? I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna hate whatever is about to happen, aren't I? Why couldn't I see her? What did the doctor do? Was she in Elton's ass cheek or something? Here she is. Could be worse. At least I'll never age. And it really is quite peaceful. John, can I have your glasses? This is worse than death. Why would the doctor do this to her? It's a relationship of sorts. We manage. We've even got a bit of a love life. Ah! Ah! Stop, 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 stop! This is worse than death! Um, happy... Happy April 1st, everybody. That ending did such irreparable damage to my psyche that I can't even fathom that there was a point in which I was enjoying this show. I vaguely remember liking it in the middle, but the, the fucking, ah, I can't even, I can't even fathom that this was, that this was aired, that someone would show this to me. That was so horrific. Everything about that, and, and to end by being like, what, my girlfriend's a sheetrock, but don't worry, I still fuck her. Jackie doesn't even get a resolution. He just hurts Jackie. Four people die, and now he's fucking the pavement. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Wow. That was episode 10 of season two. Of Doctor Who, uh, I hope you all enjoyed Tom's last video. This was unreal. This was unimaginable. I couldn't, I would never have predicted any, anything. Every step of the way was awful. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and share. 
Uh, so this does well, and I didn't suffer for nothing. Please. And I will see you guys uh, next time. I'm gonna go throw up. Hey,